Google Gemini just released three brand new AI tools that are all 100% free. These tools can help you create AI generated content, build your own AI apps that are powered by Gemini, and so much more. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what those tools are, how you could use them, and crazy use cases you could build from this to help you automate your work and save time. Like I said before, the best part is these are all free. Now, the first tool I want to show you is if you come over to labs.google, you will now be able to see flow right here. And if you click on create with flow and then create with flow again, this is going to bring you to where you can launch a new project. And from here, you're going to be able to access VO 3.1 quality and VO 3.1 fast, both for free. Now, if you want the video to come out fast, I know that sounds kind of silly, use VO 3.1 fast, but if you want the highest quality, you're gonna to wanna to use VO 3.1 quality. So we're gonna click on this right here, and then I wanna show you exactly how you do this. So you can choose the aspect ratio right here. Landscape is going to be like a long form video, like what you're watching right now. Portrait is going to be a vertical video. In addition to that, you could choose the number of outputs per prompt. I would strongly suggest you stick with having one on this, because if you do two, three, four, it's going to take an incredibly long period of time for you to be able to create this and it's not actually gonna make anything that's all that better. Now, from here, what you'll see that you could do is you can do text to video. So you could just describe what you want the video to look like and it will go off and actually create it. You could do something like frames to video where you could choose a beginning and an end. And this is what I'm gonna show you in just a second. Or you could use ingredients to video. This is where you could take a photo of, let's say, a model and a ring, or maybe you want them to be holding Saratoga water, or you want them to be holding a coffee. Basically, all the different ingredients that you want to exist in the video, you would then upload as these photos right here with text, and then it will go through and actually create them. Now, for the sake of this, I wanna show you frames to video to show you how crazy this is, so check this out. So, I have two photos here. If we come over here, I'm gonna open up both these screenshots right here. You'll see that we have an egg, and then we're gonna upload this eagle right here. So, I'm gonna click on this right here. I am going to upload from this the picture of the egg. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna put this in here, and we can leave this as landscape right here. I'm gonna crop it and save it. Now, what we can also do is come over here and we can upload the video with the eagle. By the way, if you don't have a picture of what you actually wanna see, you could generate an image by clicking on this right here. So over here, I'm going to upload this picture of this eagle. We're gonna crop and save. And we're gonna say, turn this egg into an eagle. And then we're going to write this right here. This is literally going to go through. This is going to create this. And the result of this is absolutely going to blow your mind. On top of that, inside of Flow, what you could do is build next scenes if you wanted to. So you don't just have to have this be a short video. You could have this be a long video where you keep stacking frames on top of each other as if you were creating a movie, a TV show, or something you typically watch. Okay, so here's what this actually created. Now, we did skip like a slight step here because we didn't actually upload a picture of a chick. So like ideally what you should do is go egg to chick, chick to big bird, but check out how this actually looks because it's pretty cool. So as we can see, this went from egg to chick right here, which is pretty awesome. And then it goes through and actually turns into the bird. Again, if you wanted to make this hyper-realistic, you would probably go egg to chick, chick to bird, because it would just transition a little bit better. But this really shows off the power of how, with just a simple text prompt, this goes through and actually does things. And then if you wanted to add a scene, you could click on add scene, you could generate again, and then it's going to create another video, and then those videos will happen after each other so that you could generate a movie, TV show, whatever you want. Before I get into the rest of the free tools that Google recently released, like the ones that allow you to build AI generated apps and things like that, I wanted to remind you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single week and if you wanna learn how to automate your work with AI, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're subscribed. Now. The next thing that I wanted to show you is if you come over into aistudio.google.com, you're gonna see that this has completely changed. You basically have four things now. You have a homepage, which is what we're currently on. You have chat, which is where you're gonna be able to interact with all their best models. You're gonna have build right here. You're gonna have dashboard. You're gonna have documentation. So now what you're gonna notice is this right here. Vibe code, gen AI enabled apps inside of build. So 
you could come over here and this is actually pretty unique and pretty cool. You can choose between a bunch of different models that Gemini can actually go through and use for Code Assister. I would strongly suggest that you stick with Gemini 2.5 Pro because it's going to be the best. You could come over here and you could add in different system instructions. You could add in custom system instructions here. For example, if you wanted to use something in specific like emojis instead of SVG icons, you could get that to do that here or whatever it actually is. Now, you could do a few things from here. You could upload files, you could upload screenshots, you could upload PDFs. You could click on I'm feeling lucky where this is literally going to go through and build you out a random idea and a random app. Or you could go through a bunch of these different supercharged apps right here where this basically tells you what this can actually do for different apps. For example, I'm gonna click on video understanding right here. And then what this is going to do is this is going to put this into the app that I'm gonna be creating. So I'm gonna say, I want to create an app where users can upload their TikTok or Instagram post and get feedback on how to improve their content. The feedback should be focused on editing pacing and audience retention. So we're gonna come over here, I'm gonna fix all these different spelling mistakes right here, and we're gonna come over here, content, and again, this is literally 100% free. I'm gonna click on build right here. This is going to go off, this is going to build this, and again, this is actually going to have Google enabled inside of it, which is pretty crazy, and again, <laughs> This is literally 100% free. We're gonna be able to preview it from here, code it from here, see what it looks like, and you'll be able to see how you could share it, download it, and do a bunch of different things once this is done actually creating this. Okay, now just like that, this went through and this actually built this out. So I'm gonna enable this to be full screen right here. We could see that we could upload videos, we could get expert feedback. So let's actually try this out. We're gonna click over here. I have a video over here about Notebook LM. I am going to upload this in here. We could then see this video right here. I'm gonna click on analyze video and then this is going to go through and this is going to give me feedback right here. now. What is crazy about this is that this went through and made this literally in 73 seconds. So in a minute and 13 seconds, this went through and this created an app that is powered by Gemini. We can make changes to it. We could improve it. We could add new AI features or we could add in a bunch of different things here. And if we wanted to, we could just talk to this right here. In addition to that, we could view it on full screen. We could come over here and we could copy this app. We could download this app. We could save it to GitHub. We could deploy the app if we wanted to immediately. And as you can see here, this literally goes through and gives me exactly what should happen right here, what things I should add, for example, different hooks that I should add in, gives me comments on editing and pacing, gives me visual interest things, and storytelling and flow. This right here is absolutely insane that it was able to do this. Now, there are some things that I'm gonna to have to fix, like how the CSS shows up inside of this right here. I'm probably gonna to wanna to clean this up to make this look better, but, I literally just built out an AI powered app in 73 seconds. Now we just have to change it a little bit. And by the way, this was done for free and we can come over here, see what this will look like on a mobile device, what it'll look like rotated on a mobile device, which is a nice switch right here. And if we wanted to actually share this app to people, we could come over here, we could publish this, we could copy and paste it, we could share this, and this is crazy. Not only for building your own apps, but for building out app experiences that then you could put behind a paywall or on your own website. And again, this is all literally done for free. Now on top of that, you can also come over into chat mode right here and you'll be able to see that you can access all of the Gemini models, all of the image models, all of the audio models. And if you click on video right here, this only has VO2 in it right now. So flow is still going to be the best way in order to access video. But this has the latest models when it comes to everything else, which is incredibly powerful. Now, the last feature that's again free that I wanted to show off to you is if you come over here into labs.google again and you click over here into Mixboard, this right here is pretty incredible. We're gonna click on get started right here and what this is going to allow you to do is create a project and you can do things like plan a party, imagine new ideas, make something fun. So what I'm gonna say for this is I want to create a 2028 Corvette 
it should look way more futuristic than the 2024 Corvette. And then what this is going to do is this is going to go through, this is going to analyze my prompt, and this is going to help me brainstorm what the Corvette of the future might look like. And again, I don't want you to take this so literal that, hey, I'm not a car designer. I don't want to do this. This literally goes through instantly generates a bunch of different images for what this new car could actually look like and give me a bunch of inspiration here. Now, there are some things that I don't like, right? I don't like this right here. I don't know why it made it look like an airplane. I do like this right here. So what I can actually do is I can regenerate this image. I can actually have it create more like this. I could come over here and remove the background or I could duplicate this. So I'm gonna click on more like this and this is gonna go off and do this. Now, what is this actually useful for? Let's say that you were trying to create a logo. This is incredibly useful for that. Let's say that you were trying to create a YouTube thumbnail. Incredibly useful for that. Let's say that you were just trying to brainstorm things or create B-roll for your content or whatever the case is. Maybe you needed images for a PowerPoint slide. This would be able to do that. And this right here is a very easy way for you to now drag these, actually be able to visualize these. And this is a great way for you to get a lot more creative in a lot shorter period of time. For example, we could come over here and see a bunch of other examples here like Memphis dinnerware right here. So this went through and actually created a bunch of different Memphis and styled dinnerware, which is pretty cool. Or we could come into other ones like planning a cozy fall living room. And this goes through and actually organizes a bunch of stuff here. I would strongly suggest that you go through this. And again, what we could see right here is you can actually now add multiple images together and then say what you want to change. For example, put all of these inside of this image here. That's exactly what happened. This user took these three plots of inspiration. They took this boring looking living room and then they added it all together. And now you can do that same exact thing, which is incredibly useful and again, this is all free. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is gonna replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs, or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now, so if you wanna stay ahead of what's happening in AI, and you wanna learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing how to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. If you enjoyed this video, you should check out this video right here that shows you how to build out AI agents with Google's new AI agent builder. I'll see you over there.